time to rewrap my mirror caps. I wrapped these last year. I didn't do that great of a job. I'm gonna try and do a better job, but you can see it's kind of ripped in some areas. I already did the other mirror cap. So I'm gonna rewrap it. It's actually very easy. You just need a few things. I use the black metallic vinyl wrap, which is in this case the 3M Wrap Film Series 1080, a razor, and I use one of these other razors too to cut the a sheet of these off so, and a, a little squeegee with a soft microfiber edge and a heat gun. Can't go, uh, can't forget a heat gun. Somebody asked, Armin, why are you wrapping the mirror caps anyway? Well, I wanted to go with that black over red theme for the car. Thought I'd wrap the mirror caps. Plus, in Australia, I believe they come with black mirror caps, no matter what color you buy, as far as the uh, holding Commodore is concerned. Um, plus, I thought it looked kind of cool. Alright, let's get this old wrap off. You could buy General Motors OEM black mirror caps. I think it's a matte finish. Um, I want to say they're 50 ish dollars each for each side, passenger and driver side. So about a hundred bucks, I think. Don't quote me on that. Just go look up the part number on GM's website. So before I put any wrap on this, you gotta wash it with some soap. I'm gonna use some Dawn soap, get all the grease off and uh, dirt off. So be right back. All right, I got a clean surface. Make sure you clean the edges of your mirror cap as well because a lot of dirt gets caught up in there. So you wanna make sure you have a fairly clean surface, pretty clean surface that the vinyl can stick to. The great thing about vinyl, it's cheap and uh, easy to use with a heat gun. Heat gun is your best friend. Um, some professionals don't even use heat guns because they got the magic touch of stretching and stuff like that. I don't do this every day like they do. So I use a heat gun. Although I know some vinyl professionals installers still use heat guns anyway. It is a tool in the toolbox. So I have one cheap. It's like 20 bucks, I guess, um, depending on where you go and how fancy you want to get. All right, time to cut a sheet. You don't need a very big sheet of vinyl for the mirror caps. It's pretty darn s small, so just get a small piece. That's enough to cover the edges and overlap around it. There we go. Out of the way. And then, now comes the fun part, somewhat tedious part, depending on who you ask, where you gotta really just cover the hell and stretch this out as much as you can. Now, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not a professional. I'm just gonna, I just literally just put it on top, and then I start sticking and stretching. So there you go. I mean, the flatter the surface, the easier it's when you get to the curves and the. In the corners it gets really hard so if you have any tips to share with fellow viewers about vinyl wrapping because i'm probably not the best example here i'm literally just winging it every time i do this you know i watch some videos but you know i'm not spending a ton of time on money to get it completely perfect it's just mirror caps i really wish i had something to like a vice a pair of hands to hold this down so i can a triangular stretch where you stretch this way and stretch that way while you lay it down. But I don't quite know how to do that by myself yet. So. I need to break out the heat gun and soften some of this a little bit. See that curve? That is like a pain in the butt to try to work through. You really gotta just keep pulling and stretching. So there, that's not too bad. Um, you have all these edges you'll trim off with the razor blade. We'll do that in a minute. But you kind of want to let it look, kind of want to take a look, see if there's any, yep, there's a bubble right here. Uh, Take that squeegee. Um, I think the proper technique is to push to the edge. 
All right, so the mirror cap is pretty much done. All right, we're done. Let's go get this on the car. So as you can see, we got the mirror caps exposed. These are just held in by clips. It's, I didn't need tools for this. It just clips right on, so easy to do. Um, so you just want to line it up. And snap it back in. That's it, literally just press it right back in. Check everything is lined up. You are good to go. So yeah, there's the other side. All right guys, we hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you liked it. Please give a thumbs up and we'll see you on our next one. Take care.